Amino acid side chains. This is part 5 of a 6 part series. The aim of this segment is to observe the structure of amino acid side chains. Group 4 will construct cysteine, aspartic acid and asparagine. Insert a grey bond tube into a tetrahedral carbon. This is the beta carbon. Attach a sulfur to the beta carbon using a grey bond tube. This completes the cysteine side chain. Insert a grey bond tube into a tetrahedral carbon. This is the beta carbon. Insert a grey bond tube into a trigonal carbon opposite the 114 degree angle. Insert a single pronged oxygen into the tube opposite the 114 degree angle. Make the bond between the trigonal carbon and the single pronged oxygen a double bond. Attach a bent oxygen to the trigonal carbon using a grey bond tube. This completes the carboxyl group. Attach the carboxyl group to the beta carbon using the remaining free bond tube. This completes the aspartic acid side chain. Insert a grey bond tube into a tetrahedral carbon. This is the beta carbon. Insert a grey bond tube into a trigonal carbon opposite the 114 degree angle. Insert a single pronged oxygen into the tube opposite the 114 degree angle. Make the bond between the trigonal carbon and the single pronged oxygen a double bond. Attach a grey bond tube to the prong opposite to the 114 degree angle on a trigonal nitrogen. Insert the grey bond tube onto one of the free prongs of the trigonal carbon. Finally, connect the trigonal carbon to the beta carbon using a grey bond tube. This completes the asparagine side chain. In the next segment, part 6, you will construct an amphiphatic alpha helix using the side chains that you have just made.